Welcome to St. Mary's. When I feel afraid and think I've lost my way, still you're there right beside me. Nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Please be near me till the end. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. And the light unto my path. You are the light unto my path. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. I'd just like to welcome parishioners of St. Mary's, those who are visiting, and those who are watching uh, this Mass uh, online through St. Mary's Ottawa YouTube channel at 11 o'clock a.m. today. So today is a Saturday, it's devoted to Mary, and uh, so we ask her for her intercessions for all our intentions. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts, Lord of mercy. Lord mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. going to do some Mary. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Some will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? Fool, what you sow does not come to life unless it dies. And as for what you sow, you do not sow the body that is to be, but a bare seed, perhaps of wheat or some other grain. So it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable. What is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown as a physical body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. Thus it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. But it is not the spiritual that is first, but the physical, and then the spiritual. The first was from the earth, made of dust. The second is from heaven. As was the one of dust, so are those who are of the dust. As is the one of heaven, so are those who are of heaven. Just as we have borne the image of the one of dust, we will also bear the image of the one of heaven. What I am saying 
brothers and sisters, is this. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The refrain to the psalm. I will walk in the presence of God, in the light of the living. O Most High, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I am not afraid. What can flesh do to me? I will walk in the presence of God, in the light of the living. This I know that God is for me, in God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust. I am not afraid. What can a mere mortal do to me? I will walk in the presence of God, in the light of the living. My vows to you I must perform, O God. I will render thank offerings to you for you have delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling so that I may walk before God in the light of life I will walk in the presence of God in the light of the living Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia! Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When a great crowd gathered and people from town after town came to Jesus, he said in a parable, a sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell on the path and was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell on the rock, and as he grew up, it withered for lack of moisture. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked. Some fell into good soil, and when it grew, it produced a hundredfold. As he had said this, he called out, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. Then his disciples asked him what this parable meant. She said, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God. But to others I speak in parables, so that looking they may not perceive, and listening they may not understand. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God, the ones on the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. The ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But but these have no root. They believe only for a while, and in a time of testing, fall away. As for what fell among the thorns, these are the ones who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, 
and their fruit does not mature. But as for that in the good soil, they are the ones who, when they hear the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patient endurance. The Gospel of the Lord. Before I begin my homily, I would just like to let you know that uh, today is September 19, okay? And in 1851, Our Lady appeared in La Salette, France, okay? And this is approved by, uh, by, 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 by the Catholic Church. And, uh, you know, uh, he appeared to, Mary appeared to two, um, uh, two one is uh, two, two uh, young, young one, one boy and one girl, okay? And then on August 21, 1879, Pope Leo XIII granted a canonical coronation to the image now located within the Basilica of Our Lady of La Salette. And Aug- on, this is what, okay? August 21, 1879, you know what that date, date is? It's the apparition of Mary in Knock, Ireland. It was like a confirmation of the apparition of what's happening in La Salette. So I highly encourage you to read the messages of Mary uh, in, in La Salette uh, because we really right now, we really need to review the messages that has been given uh, by Our Lady in apparitions like La Salette in uh, Our Lady of Knock in apparition, uh, the apparition in Knock, it was a silent uh, apparition, so no message there. But on the same day that Mary was being crowned, Mary appeared in Knock Island. So I just want to let you know about that. Okay, so today we talk about the, the gospel. Today we talk about the parable of the sower. How many of you have heard this parable so many times? Okay, I, I've heard of this, I've read this, I've made homily out of this. And uh, sometimes I would just assume that I already know what the Lord is telling me. And I'll just close my Bible and, you know, go with my day. But every time I would pray about it, the Lord will reveal to me new things in this parable. And I I hope you'll get something out of my homily today. Uh, Before, I would usually think that, oh, there are different types of where the the seeds has been planted, right? And I would think that, oh, these are the uh, classification of people. Okay, the atheists, the agnostic, those who do not believe in God, these are the ones you know that are pla- uh, pla- that are seeds planted on the, the the road, and you know the birds will pick it up. You know uh, those who are, uh, let's say, uh, those who are worrying a lot, you know, and experiencing a lot of like pressures from life, and uh, they're you know they're the ones that are you know uh, sown the seeds has been sown on uh, on the rock, okay. And I would always also think uh, those who are attached to so many things, those who worry, those who are addicted, you know, those are the ones that have been sown on the thorns. And for us good Catholics practicing, we're the good soil, okay. So we classify people, and the Lord revealed to me that. No, at one point in your life, you're like those, those types of soils, okay? And I could remember, yeah, I started, you know, um, not believing in the Lord, okay? And then made the progression from, and then, you know, became the rock, and then after that became the thorns and became the good soil. But I'm not saying that I'm good soil right now. I'm not saying that it's just progression and no regression, there are times in my life I would go back to not believing, even though as a priest already, yeah, where no many times we're in, um, you know, because of the difficulties in life, I would give in and not believe in the Lord. Or when I'm attached to, let's say, food or media or whatever, and I fall, fell to sin. So, you know, because the enemy here, he says here, it's, it really stood out to me. It says here, the enemy, the enemy comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. That's the goal of the enemy. 
that we would not believe in the word of God so that we will not be saved. That's the goal of the enemy. So for us to really bear fruit, it's really growing in our belief in God. If you really truly believe in, in God and obey His will, you are the good soil. Whenever you see that you're attached to things and you're falling into sinful pleasures, you're, you're like the thorns. You know, when, when, when persecution comes, difficulties in life, economic crisis, or whatever, you give in to those temptations to disobey God. You're, the, you're, 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 you're like the rock, the seas that fell on the rock. So we need to examine ourselves every day. We don't think that, oh, I, I practice my Catholic faith. I come on weekday masses, on Sunday masses. I'm the good soil. Are you really a good soil? For me, I know I'm not a good soil yet. I'm still a work in progress. There's so many areas in my life wherein I'm not yet a good soil. And the scripture passage that I want you to remember is John 15, verse 5. Okay? What's John 15, verse 5? John 15, verse 5, it says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit. Because apart from me, you can do nothing. It is uniting our will to the will of God. And you won't unite your will if you don't believe in Him. Okay? And how do we believe in Him? It is getting to know Him, falling in love with Him. And by that, you know, you, you, you are assured that you are loved. That God has the best intentions, has the best plan for your life. And whatever He asks you, it's always for your good, despite the difficulty that it will entail. Follow it. Obey. And when you obey, you will bear much fruit that the good soil in the parable and the sower that we just read in our gospel today. Christ teaches through the parables. Christ is sower of the seed of God's word. Let us respond to his work by praying to the Father. That a church in the world may be like the rich soil, yielding a hundredfold harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. That the leaders of our nation may govern in the way which is pleasing to God and to its citizen. Let us pray to the Lord that unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the Word of God in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That those who have died may enjoy light, happiness, and peace in heaven, and may those burdened with grief be strengthened by God's Word. Let us pray to the Lord. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the deceased members, sorry, for the permanent closure of the Bank Street abortion facility and the conversion of all its staff, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the seed of your word at work in our lives. May we never get distracted by the cares of this world but be active in your service and so produce an abundant harvest. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. 
With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way. He will make a way. By a roadway in the wilderness, He'll lead me. And rivers, the desert, will I see. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let's pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by limiting her, may by imitating her, serve virtually the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Say, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And with our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Mother of good counsel, graceful bearer of good news, before us a constant model, only one whom God did choose. May we sing God's saving power, may we tend to human need. May God's word dwell deep within us, counsel for each holy deed. Mother 